The, the title, first of all, is um, uh, the name of a book which was published in 1954 by Ben Kiley. Um, the committee which organises this literary weekend each year selects a title from either a short story or a novel um, by Ben Kiley and it um, is a, a launching pad really for um, writers and for uh, poets, various academics to come here and talk about the work of uh, Ben Kiley. But it's also a launching point for um, an art exhibition. Last year we had an exhibition um, called uh, Make Straight for the Shore, which was also uh, and a title from Ben Kiley, a short story. The theme then was water. The theme this year, the committee decided, was Honey Seems Bitter. And um, I took the title, first of all, and uh, looked at it from the point of view of um, exploring the notion of perception, of people's perception of different um, concepts. And the word seems seemed to me to be a very key word because when you think of honey, you think of it being sweet and wholesome, but honey seeming bitter was alien to me, and I felt that I needed to explore it more. Um, but Sydney Smith, um, um, I've included this particular painting in it, and it's a, it's, it's, it seems a, a, a quite a wholesome painting when you look at it. It has got uh, the row of houses back uh, of a back garden, and each house is very neatly organised. It has its back. Um, little vegetable patch, it has its possessions all neatly um, divided off. Um, but it, if you look at it, it has got very warm, wholesome, bountiful colours, but at the same time, it may indicate, whether the artist intended or not, that we are a culture clearly define our space and we create little boundaries and hedges and fences um, create a, a separated areas and that leads you on to the idea that maps then are, 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 are we do have a tendency and it's a natural enough it's part of the organization and Chris Wilson has looked at the whole area of uh, how maps are divided uh, and, and actually have been used to, to uh, divide people into particular areas and his his painting uh, or is it actually he, he uses paint as one of many types of media. He uses m actual maps themselves. And uh, in um, this particular um, uh, painting here, it's a quiet influence, very, very cleverly um, titled. And it, it, it has um, perhaps a reference to maybe one of the most uh, contentious issues that has uh, uh, happened in our past, and that was the plantation and it's the division of land and it, it has been a source of um, grievance and justification it has but it, it it has also the potential to actually unite in the sense that it's a fusion of cultures and it could possibly um, produce something more wholesome what the little image in it is 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 a house which perhaps and that's what led me to believe that it may be reference to plantation where part of the contract of early plantation was the um, the building of a house, a, a planter, in order to cement his relationship and their, his contract with um, with the land uh, was to, was to build himself a defended house within three years of uh, being given land, and it, it, it's 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 a painting where it's almost imposed on the surface of the map. Um, in the work as well, you have. A, 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 the a sunlight coming in through a window behind the house and it creates the shape of cross which again may uh, emphasize the notion of division but also perhaps the, the quiet influence of religion you know creating divisions